Welcome back, everybody, to Prairie here live at the Nexon Arena on Monday. We just finished off Samson versus SKT. Sam's getting 0-3 there. We're going to jump straight into MVP versus CJ Anthes. I am Valdez. With me is myself and Irene. We're all here in the booth alone. We're going to do the cast live for you guys right now. Uh, we just had a pretty funny, actually, uh, little little CG there with the aid to Protoss. We'll see uh, how the Protoss do tonight, I suppose. MVP sitting uh, somewhere in the middle right now, one and one. CJ about the same, in fact, just sitting at one and one right now. Blaze versus Hush coming up as game number one. Going to be a PvP. I know it's a match that a lot of people don't have the most fun watching, but I actually really enjoy it. So uh, I'll try to make it enjoyable for you guys as well. Blaze, former uh, Panic, coming out here first for MVP. They've been playing him a lot recently. His last Pro League game, he actually went up against Light and uh, did a two-gate proxy in the middle of, I think it was Cactus Valley or something. And Life was just totally caught off guard and it killed him. It was really funny. Life was uh, pretty angry with that, but uh, able to take a win at least. And that's really what, what it came down to. And uh, we'll see what he can do today in a PvP. I wonder if he'll continue his ultra cheesy streak or is he just going to play straight up? I'm not sure actually who that player is for MVP. If someone knows, you can tweet at me at Brandon Valdez. I would love to know. Probably should know, but uh, unfamiliar face is a rare thing over here at StarCraft. Yeah, it's been fun so far. The solo cast here alone in the booth. Definitely something different. I hope you guys are enjoying it. I'm trying to do my best. My first time. Here is Hyunga. With a lot of nice hearts all over her blouse. Giving us the word, but we can't hear it. And we're going to look at today's match. MVP versus CJ Antis. Blaze versus Hush. Up first, as I said before, then Gumiho versus Hero on Iron Fortress. Not the best Protoss map, but I mean, it's it's Hero after all. And he's going up against Gumiho. Gumiho has like shown some star performances against Protoss at times. The one that comes to mind was when the boot fell on his head and he defeated Zest in Habitation Station. We'll see if we can recreate that today, minus the, uh, the booth disaster. Then we go into Departure versus Biel, which is interesting because Biel is ZVZ is, is quite good. You know, he's really up there with, uh, I'd probably say top 10 at least. Uh, in his ZVZ, he had one bad series, but that was about it. And um, Departure himself has been doing better and better every time he comes out, really showing his potential. Uh, don't quite remember his last game, but I, I think it may have been against a Terran, but he, he just looked really on points. He was playing quite well. And uh, really curious about how that match is going to go. And then, of course, he versus Byung to finish it off. Return match of Blaze versus Hush. Don't really know when the first match was, but I'm sure someone out there does. Hero will be on top of the winner's ranking once again with a win. And I did put my my marbles on the side of Hero. I think he will win this game against Gumio, even though it is Iron Fortress. Hero, a very fantastic Protoss. Although he has been... Not as dominant, I'd say. He had a good last game against Terran, uh, the last time we saw him come out. But uh, he also had some weak games against Flash, where he was losing against very greedy styles. And we'll see what he's got planned for Iron Fortress. Is he just going to go very aggressive, or is he uh, going to sit back, just try to get that third base up cleanly and not take too much damage? Uh, of course, as I've mentioned before, as we've mentioned a lot of times, we're actually removing the time from the preview monitor here. You guys will not be able to see it in the game. I will be giving you, uh, from time to time, some updates on exactly what time it is, I suppose. You know, I, I guess at certain important times in the game, I can I can tell you guys about what time it is, especially if it's a long game or whatnot. And uh, yeah, I'm just excited to get into this first game of PvP. It's gonna be the first one of the night. Here's Blaze. He just hit five and three off the back of that win against life. Only one and two versus Protoss, but really it's not big enough of a uh, uh, of a game pool just yet. Like we need to see more games out of this guy in these uh, best of one kind of pro league situations. 
I know he's uh, been floating around over in DSL Code A. I, I think he may have made Code S like once, but to be honest, I'm not so sure. He's looking for a new start there with his new name. And uh oh. It's the Ninja PvP or it's Hush. Or is it Hush? You can't really tell because he's got a mask on and he's a ninja. In fact, I'm not even sure how we can see him in the booth, but seems as if we can. He's got two CJ logos on his on his shirt there, one for a regular CJ and one for CJ and M. And then he's no, he's got three. The other CJ Enthus, you know, gaming team logo as well. It's kinda funny. But uh, regardless guys. PvP about to start up here. The map is going to be Terraform for this PvP. Blaze looking really relaxed and chill. We'll see if that can help him coming into this game. Let's jump into it right now. Blaze versus Hush. Here in the top left, in the red, the Protoss player from MVP, it is Blaze. Yeah! That's what it said there at the top. <laughs> Down here in the bottom right in the blue, from CJ Entis, another Protoss player, it is the Ninja, known as Hush. Whoa. <laughs> He's got some kind of uh, play on words there with his name. I'm not exactly sure what it means, sorry. Can't really get the translation on that one for you guys. Maybe next time. Yeah, kind of an interesting map here for PvP. Um, I don't think we see PvP too often on this map. I think Terran's not so bad on this map, especially uh, if you're phasing off against a, a Zerg, as innovation has made it very, very clear to everybody. And... Seeing two Protoss is kind of interesting. Maybe they were hoping a snipe at Terran that was looking to go up against a Zerg, but both teams had the same idea and two Protosses came out. I don't think it's really a terrible map for Protoss, really, but the third base can be kind of hard. I mean, you can't really take the, the base in the middle and call that the forbidden base for a reason. Uh, that's because it's forbidden. You can't take that until it's your sixth base, and even then... Um, yeah, I mean, the third base up towards the north, it's got three ramps into it. It's pretty far away from your natural. It can be hard to hold at times. Uh, getting a good um, SimCity up there can be hard. Of course, the Protosses have, you know, become accustomed to, you know, putting up two pylons, a cannon in the middle, gateways to block it off. It's pretty standard at this point. You can get that kind of SimCity, and as long as you have your army in position, it can be okay. But against Terran, I, I'm sure it could be kind of hard. Um... But we'll see if we even get there in this PvP. Looks like the Cybernetic score is slightly faster for Blaze. Maybe a faster gateway coming out there. I was busy talking about a, a different matchup during that. That's uh, one of the downsides of solo casting. I'm sure you guys are on point, all you smart viewers out there. Yeah, Blaze is going to have his earlier Cybernetic score. Both players are going to scout each other around the same time, kissing there in the middle. Looks like Hus wants to make a Zealot. We'll see if he actually commits to that. It's pretty non-standard. Yeah, he's going to just cancel it, make a Stalker. And coming in here, going for the very fast Stargate is Blaze. And Hus is going to get a full scout. So that may show that Blaze wants to go into Phoenix because if Hush sees it, then it's a very easy just counter Stargate into Phoenix yourself. Um, and if Blaze is going to continue with the start game and complete it, then making an Oracle straight into it is going to be kind of interesting because it's very rarely going to get much damage done just because, you know, Hush, he's seen it. Even if it is an Oracle, you can just sit back at home and defend, get up a get up a Nexus and be totally fine. But we'll see what he wants to go with here. If he wants to go with anything. He's actually got a probe up there in the north. Looks like uh, Hush does. Oh, what? Is he just going to go straight for gate? Is this real life? Is this what I'm seeing right now? 
because, uh, yeah, it is. Okay, he's going to go for four gate, a three gate coming behind this for Hush. Three gate blink versus four gate, reminding me of what was it, 2011, 2012, back in the day. This was uh, pretty common, uh, unless you had four gate versus four gate. Maybe it was a little bit later on. Regardless, it happened at some point. It's happening again tonight. Here we go. It's going to be pretty aggressive. Let's see how close Blaze can get his pile on. That's one of the main parts of this. You want to make sure you're not denied. And I don't think Hush knows about this. He's defending back at home, but he's going straight into a robo as well with the blank on the way. He's going to be very much so down in units because of this, because he's trying to take up so, so much. And Blaze is going to have six stalkers right away. Hush comes back, and he sees no Nexus. And these units are just getting up. And look at this Mother Sakura. It's really out of position. He he has to get that Nexus Cannon down. There he goes, but it is going to go down. And that is very big. There is not going to be any follow-up. It's not going to be able to help out in the defense. Three gateways are out here for Hush. But against four gates, it's going to be quite hard to hold. He needs that blink. This uh, The Mother Sakura with the Photon Overcharge It's part of the reason why you don't see this much of an aggressive build too often anymore. But... You know, just because it allows you a lot of time here. It buys you a lot of time to get out some tech, some blank, get out, you know, your own uh, immortal if you win for Robo, stuff like this. He does uh, cancel it, though. Looks like he just wants more units. And seven, eight zealots now against nine stalkers. Looking to get on top of it, trying to use that blank. Now he's going to be forced to pull those probes. Oh, one stalker getting out of position now. And is he going to have enough stalkers here even to hold this off? That is just so many units from Blaze. Not even using any kind of tech here. Trying to go for the blinking for Hush. He is going to fight now with a lot of the probes. And he will be able to push back Blaze for now. But four Warpins at a time are coming in. Blink will only help you so much. Forced once again to fight with his probes. And now he's getting so far up behind the economy once again. But it does look like Hush should be able to eventually hold this off with his blink. But he's lost so much economy behind this. So it's going to be pretty pretty interesting to see how Hush responds at this point. He's lost 13 probes in total. But he has totally shut it down. And, oh, man. Blaze going for the warp ins. And keep in mind, he's got no Mothership Core. So as long as he can take out all these units, you know, he can definitely get very far ahead in terms of units. But uh, I'm not sure if he's going to be able to walk all the way across the map and really punish uh, Blaze at this point. There is a probe, though, in the main. That is pretty gigantic. If he can actually, you know, kill a bunch of these pylons and just eventually go for it. No, he's just going to go for the scout, it seems. Try to see the uh, transition, I suppose, from Blaze. But I'm not going to see much. Just making some units. Just uh, trying to defend. So kind of a very aggressive start from Blaze. Seems to be his uh, personality, his, the way he likes to play some of these uh, these matchups. Going to go for a second century now, a third century even. It's not bad. Usually the max you see is three, and it should be enough to hold off this round for a very long time. But Hush doesn't show any signs of really trying to... Um, punish this. He's just sitting back trying to probe up as much as possible, get his economy back. He's almost near Blaze now. It's 22 to 21. And he also has the better tech. I mean, he's got Blink. He's got the robotics facility. He's way, way far ahead in that. So as long as he can catch up an economy, he should be totally fine. Interesting committal here and trying to take out one of the sentries, but it's a lot of his stalkers pretty low. Now going to start the Nexus first. Maybe he was trying to show some aggression to Blaze, saying, like, hey, I'm going to I'm gonna break your ramp eventually. I'm only showing you four stalkers. Blaze is stuck on top of his ramp, not really knowing what's going on. But once this hallucination comes out and gets a, a nice little scout on the entirety of Hush's base, he should be, uh, I don't know if he'll be happy, but oh, let's see if he can deny it, actually. He's going to blink in here, and it looks like he will. Oh, that is so huge. Blaze has no idea. All he sees are a bunch of stalkers. That's not going to tell him much. 
course, the fact that Hush is not, uh, you know, sitting outside his base trying to kill him and is defending this much against hallucinations can kind of tip Blaze off. And he will eventually see this Nexus with the Phoenix. There you go. Coming in, sees the Nexus. Sees he's pretty far behind on all counts. Hush looking very good so far. By the way, because we didn't get much of a look at the predictions uh, so far for today, I just wanted to say that all the Salmons were in total agreement. Everybody was uh, voting for the same people in every single matchup, all all eight matchups. So we're all betting on Hush here. <laughs> just wanted just wanted to throw that out. Uh, doing quite well so far. I mean, it's not going to happen massively to this point. But uh, definitely, you know, getting his Nexus further, getting an earlier Immortal, getting, you know, even Blink out. Blaze is going to be, you know, he's not even going to have that. He may not even commit to that. And Phoenix going to get from there. And there's that force timing from Hush. He feels very safe. He's saying, okay, I'm going to just, you know, sit back and get my upgrades up, try to get it out as fast as possible. But... I think he doesn't know just yet. He will see it now, is that there are a lot of gateways on the way here for Blaze, and he's making as many Immortals as possible, and he's moving across the map. He stopped at 27 probes, whereas Hush is 38, and only now is he identifying, like, oh, you're going for an attack right now. Thankfully, Hush, with his uh, with his blink, he can, you know, abuse it to get a really nice position. Look at this. He's going to break down the rocks, too. That's going to delay this push so much. Really nicely done, but it doesn't mean he's definitely going to hold this off. It's actually going to be quite hard. Three Immortals. I think he may have to even pull some probes to, to tank a bit. Going up into the main even just now. But now coming down into the natural once again. Taking out the Observer. Photon Overcharge comes down. Five sentries in this mix as well. He's trying to get the Force Fields and trying to take out that Nexus. And those Force Fields are beautiful. They're really just denying everything from Hush. He's going to force a blink forward, but the Nexus is going to go down. And now all Blaze has to do is go back home. And he is so far ahead, as long as he doesn't take any damage. But look, at, look at this. Hush is pulling all the probes. He wants to kill right now. Oh, and the time warp is gigantic, but I just don't think he has enough units. Forced to blink back once again. Very, very even at this point in time for both players. But Blaze... He's got that Nexus. And Hush now, you know, getting out that third Immortal. He really wants to, to counterattack here. He wants to kill Blaze. Let's see if he can. I, you know, with the armies being this equal, I think he may just be able to. Just, just with the blink alone, I mean, he's got 13 Stalkers. It's really going to be up to Blaze to get a great position on those Immortals and uh, do a number on the blink Stalkers, of course. Let's, uh, I'm going to check the energy here on the Mothership Core. It has enough for one Photon Overcharge. Ooh, looking for a blink into the main. Oh, this is going to be huge. He's coming in. He's going to go for the Mothership Core. He insta-snipes it. Oh, and he's got a great position now in the main. He may even be able to force field that ramp. Let's see what he does. Oh, he's actually move commanding in. A bit of a mistake there. Going to lose one of his Immortals. Oh, boy. Very intense game we got going on here. Maybe he'll try for another blink again and then try to force field the ramp. Let's see what he tries to do. Look at that concave now for Blaze. It's four to two Immortals, too. And Hush is taking free shots. Trying to just go for more and more weapons. Now it's five Immortals. Oh, but those are pretty nice force fields. Keep in mind, no blink here. So he's really just trying to kill the Zealots in the front and then uh, really get these uh, Immortals in the front to go down first. Just really fantastic force fields from Hush, but I'm not sure if it's going to be enough. Five Immortals is just way, way too much. Even with the blink, it's not really doing him any favors. Hush now has lost his Observer. Blaze has his own. Still no Nexus. And, I mean, Blaze, he's got a, a great economy now. He's got 33 probes. He's looking, you know, in a great spot. That's a pretty good time warp, but is it going to be enough to take this army out? Doesn't look like it. The Zealots coming forward. That last Immortal going to go down. And even with this many Blink Stalkers, I don't think you can make this work, Hush. 
You see Hush there behind the ninja mask, just giving a bit of a sigh. Not very happy. And Blaze, he's like, okay, I've held it off. Time to take my gas and transition. And if he gets counter blank, like it's it's a hundred percent over. Right now it's like ninety nine point nine percent over. But even gonna make another immortal, because why not? He's going up against only stalkers. He'll get to a point where he can fight with only immortals. He gets like five of them out, possibly. Hush is just gonna try to to blink his way to victory and eventually take an Exus here, but no, he's not even taking an Exus. He's warping in more Stalkers. He doesn't even take out that Immortal. And look at that. The Observer sees that there's no Nexus. And I think at this point, Blaze is just like, okay, I've got enough. Gotta push forward. A nice little dance micro. GG, and he uses the Korean symbols. Not very happy right now as Hush. Blaze gonna take the victory. Looking fantastic. Really nicely played game. <laughs> what? <laughs> Who is this guy anyway? What is going on? Really coming out and just uh, smashing heads of opponents that he probably shouldn't win against. I mean, Hush 4-0. That's not the only reason you would vote on him. Obviously looking at not um, a great... Uh, yeah, just looking pretty sick today what I'm trying to say and but Blaze I mean he's got these builds really planned out he seems like he comes in every day to pro league prepared whereas his opponents not so much and that's going to be great for MVP getting that first win it's it's really really big uh, both these teams are at one and one and plus one indicator and I don't know if Hush is really going to get a penalty for, or like a penalty point taken away there, but I think some kind of uh, a warning will be given to him, I would assume, because Hush uh, is pretty strict about what characters you can use to say GG and whatnot. You have to show that you actually mean GG, I suppose, with the English characters, and not just uh, G -a -g -a with the Korean characters. I suppose there is a difference. Next map is going to be Iron Fortress for Gumiho versus Hero. This should be another fiery match. Hero's been looking better and better these days, trying to adapt to the new uh, Protoss version.